Okay, you're going to need to hold the pads in a certain way, so we'll set the pads up. So here, here, here is the first technique. So this is this is coming from first sun, 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 so sun in. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, in. Yeah. Open up. Down. Again. Elbow. Yeah. How do we use that combat? Yeah. So you want me here, right? First one in. Hammer fist. In. Yeah. Yeah. Down will chop. In. Gain tan. Okay. Take the head of. Come in with the elbow. Seize. Knee. Pull. We have to teach the defender how to hold the pads because that's how it's going to come in. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Comes in. And then we're starting. You okay with that? Yeah, yeah. Fine. Yeah. Oh, I'll get the pad there. <laughs> My bad. Yes. <laughs> so you're going from, so obviously from the butt sick, we're going open, close, here, down. And that's it. No, we're not onto that pad. Yeah, yeah. So, no, we'll, we'll, so just show you it. Right. Not take pads off. Yep. So we'll show it within a combative form, so where we're hitting on the target. It's important to practice it this way as well. Yeah. So someone throws a punch in. Boom, there's the hammer fist, yeah. yeah? Here's this part, hold on. This part, come down here. Chop to here, mm -hmm. okay? Gain tag, here. Chop to here. Open, pull across the throat. Now I'm going into combative to get the knees. Yes. When we do the knees, we're looking at coming into this area of the knees to take yes. the leg away. Yeah. Not necessary to the groin and certainly probably not up to the stomach. Okay, so this is here, here. Game tan, short chop, hard chop. Remember targeting, I'm aiming for your neck and your throat because it's the most vulnerable area of your body. This comes down, so here, down, mm. okay? The short chop, here. Yes. In, can either be a rip or a hold or whatever. Now once I've done that, then I'm moving in, getting in combative mode, knees, taking away the knees. That's nice, yeah. Okay, and there's the combative mode. So we add it back to pets, and then you train it that way. And that's just those first 10 weeks. <laughs> You've been busy. <laughs> so here, one, diagonal, short, open, get your pad in so you protect yourself, and make sure it gets it in. Knee, 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 knee. Whenever you finish a technique, you don't just do one. Right. So if the final technique is this in your form, you don't do one, because in combat, you attack. So that's the theory we want to make so sure. Continually hitting, going from one technique to another. Yeah, so we get quickly get the openings up, so boom. Angles are important, you must come down, the form teaches us to come down. It's important because if you put your shoulder up, your neck up, I still get you. Yes. Here's where I get you. Mm. Okay, but if I do it this way on the first one, I hit your shoulder. I must come down. Mm. Then a short one, boom, is into here. And say so this can be a rip or a chop. Then I'm moving in. And these are all very short, short range techniques. Very where short. you stand is where I want to finish. Yeah. I take control. I move in fast. My last element of my techniques needs to be finishing you on the floor, and then I can go home. Um, we don't go down to the ground. We finish and we go home. So that's mm. important. So. The theory as you do it, and say the pad holder wants to hold the pads like a head. Yeah. In here, boom, move it in. Bang, 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 move it in. Yeah, so as I come forward, I don't just hear, as I come forward, I smash. Yes. Grab. Ah. See this hand, boom, as I move in. If I do this with a me, boom, he's going to headbutt me. Boom, is how I'm going to get move in. Move it in, me. And here again, there's another, boom. Moving, yes. And well, that's the way you practice. So that's the first technique. You see? This part. Yes. Yeah? So this part. And again. So all, what we're going to do now is a closing sequence. There's a couple of movements here. So we've done the elbow, so we can use it. It throws a hook here. Yeah? This now is a cross. Yeah, so here is oh, a cross. So you're going from, from one Open here. From boom. Yes. To here. Now yes. We've got a couple of alternatives with this one, but we'll play them. So we'll do this one first. First one is someone throws a wild hook, and I use it as a defence. And you see again, I don't stand, throws the hook, I don't stand here. Where he is, I want to be, I move it in. Boom. And then, this is where the, the hook's going to go. Give you a palm, 
can be an elbow, I don't really care what you do, but that's the line and we're not cheating the line. Yeah. So we come in, in, he throws it in, pull, in. Second part of the technique is close. So he throws the hook, pull, here, close, is the, the pad back up, so is here, chopping again. Boom, close it, Yeah. and then we're going to go into the elbow. So he throws the hook, one, one, two, three, and then we're going to finish off with elbows. Elbows. So okay. One, two, three, three, double elbow then. Yes. Okay. Right. So, throws the hook, we defend it in, and this is where the pad holder, if, you can, if I take the pad from you in this, and just sure. yeah? yeah. The pad holder is really important, yeah? So, throw an elbow, throw an elbow, elbow. And again, two, to give me two or three after that, yeah? Throw, throw an elbow, yeah? Throw. You see how far I am away? Yeah. Throw the elbow. Oh, throw the elbow. Throw it, throw it, throw it, attack, come back, yeah. Boom, boom, yeah, good. Yeah. Throw it. Go front. In. Again, two, two, two. We've got to come back. See how I hold it? Don't hold the pad out here, yeah. hold the pad here. If I get hit, that's good. Because yeah. that's testing. I'm not hitting a guy with a big head. He's got a big head? No. <laughs> so, so it's really important for the pad holder to hold them as tight. But again, you're going to get hit, and it's all part of the training. So, they throw a hook in. One, two, three, four, five, six, move the back. Boom. Boom. Yeah? Again. So, my bad, my bad, my bad. No, no, but the good thing is, if the pad holder can't get it, guess what? In a fight, you can't get it. Right? Yeah. And that's why pads are so brilliant. Yeah. But for training, we need to just slow it down so we can see where we're going. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Remember, I'm combative in that mode. I'm going bang, bang, bang. Yeah. I'm not going bang, yeah, hit. Latch on, remember, I'm not going to do it to this, but latching on would be a hit. Moving in, boom. Must always, this is what Trisa taught us. This, see, this is Trisa here. Move forward, you won't. See, because it's here. That's yes. what Trisa taught me. To keep strong out here. So if they move in, I'm going to hit in with that. Okay? Yes, very okay. nice. So, one. Very nice. Okay, that's one way. Here, close, same thing, but this time instead of a defence, or I can stand this way and attack this way. Yes. Next way is for the front one will be the slap, and then backing in. This will be the chop or the backhand. So I'm going to hit, chop, front elbow, move it in. Yeah. So on the pads, I hold the pads up. You feed it. One, two, three, and there's the form. And backing into everything else. And where's what are we taking from this? Yes. Here. Yes. Boom. Yeah. Oh, I'm standing here with someone. Mate, oof. Moving combatives. And that, that's where this closes. I say it could be a fist, it could be an elbow, but this motion could be fingers. Doesn't matter. But that's the line. That's, mm. that's what that line is. So here we've gone hit. Elbow, because we do two elbows, yes. elbow, elbow, and combatives to take it right to the, to the end game. So it's the same thing, you can either attack where the emphasis is on this part of it, or the emphasis is on the closing part, mm. and that, that's that element of that. Okay. If we were looking at the punch, yes. this element which you talked about, uh, don't, it's not brilliant on a pad. On a pad you've got to hit in, pull the arm down and the hammer fist. Which is where side. we're going from. Okay. One, movement. two, this. Yeah. When I hit you, boom, here, grab you. Yeah. Yeah. If I don't grab you, grab you here, don't matter. But as I grab you and turn you, I'm now looking at striking, open hand, hammer fist, elbow, head, doesn't matter. So that could be one technique. Yes, you need from to. second form, very similar. Yeah, second form is for me better because it does show that much more. But it's this action that I looked at for long and thought, well, I always thought that was a defence, but this doesn't have to be. You can do first form this way. You can jet punch in, push back, hammer fist. Yes. If you're quick on your hands. But what we were told, you've got two hands. So you do your punch, 
grab hammer fist or punch over the other side. So it's a basic technique, but again, when I'm, I, I, when I'm hitting, I'm looking to hit into the front. Phoenix eye fist, boom in here. Can do the eyes, that pushes the back, but what it does for me is it exposes the front area, and then I'm gonna come in with a hammer fist. So this sort of punching, or it could just be jab cross, jab cross. This, jab cross, hammer fist, yeah? Because this is, what this I'm is, doing. This is, this is the, the so that's right. where you're going to come in here. Boom. So again, just and some people may call it boxing, but here one, two, hammer fist, hammer fist. Okay, so that's where that element's coming in for that part of the form. Okay, good. Yeah, lovely. I have a, a question for you. Yeah. Um, that's just the first form. Well, no, that's just for, for the first section. We've not first, even got there. Let's just move on a little bit. So, we double punch. Remember, said I wanted to try and keep it within the form. Yes. But now you, you change it and move it and do what it is. You know, I, I do have this part in which comes from the second form, but it's important because now I'm changing the context. Is I've got you, but I need to move in and need protection. So that's an important element to it. Yes. What we're going to do now is we come in here. We move up. We do your knees. We've talked about knees before. Doing a knee like this. It's not the same as doing the knee boom, like this. Yes. You choose which one you want. I know which one I want. Yeah. yeah. Then in the form, you've got this section where you knee up, you circle, move up, bring down. That's right. Yep. Double punch here. I'm going to be a little bit brave on this one. So, <laughs> all right. So this one, this part, in. With the pad, he, he, he does a jab and he does a hook, for instance. So he jabs me, here throws a hook. Boom, hook, hook, boom. boom. Yeah. Yeah, but you know, Nish obviously likes me, so throw the jab, throw the hook. Boom, boom. Yeah, that's the emphasis. Here's here, palm in, headbutt, headbutt. Step, punch, punch, palm. Yes, but we're not going to do that part. Right, so you're going from this technique here where you've gone. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're here, palm, yeah. Put it in, if I, draw yeah. it back, yeah. boom. Double punch is how we do it in the form. Move. Ah. Now the turn's an interesting one because I've got a, a Muay Thai kick. So if we, we do that section first. So this section here is basically this section. Now throw the jab, boom, throw the hook, boom. This set, palm it in, yeah. okay. Grab them, boom, headbutt, yes. headbutt. Now, if they go to sweep my leg, I move my leg, I draw it back. Boom. Throw my two punches. Remember on the form? We yes. do this. Change step. We do this. Yes. Okay. What this becomes is I move back, I throw my jab, throw my hook, sucks out. But no, boom. Grab. Okay. Then the form. Turn, turn, yes. throw. Yes. Or. Very nice. Or step back, boom, boom, Muay Thai. Bam. <clears throat> Which is. This. It is, yes. So, you, you, again, you train both ways, you make a decision, but that, that's where a, a step or a turn, does it have to be a step or can it be a kick? Yes. Why can't it be a throw? Because oh, we do this, pull, you see judo, show me the difference. Yes, very nice. So, it's interpretation. So, if we put the whole form together, now, it could be and I talked about defense and attack. He throws a jab, boom. But I get my hook it, I get my technique in quicker. So instead of defending with this, boom, I attack with this. Mm. Depends which one gets there first. But if he pops back, bob your head out and throws the hook in, I've still got the defense. I haven't changed the technique. Okay? So it does in. But then I move in, head back in on to keep it low, boom. The other thing that you don't see it is that keep the knee low because yeah. it's always there. Yeah. When, when we clash, because of our conditioning, when we clash, we clash. Boom! Mm. Boom! And this is where I convince the opponent to do what I want them to do opposed to what they're doing. So we talked about bridging. Bridging is that, is where two parts point. But if I can feel that touch, then I just have to move it. And I'm not trying to no, knock no, them no, down no, yet. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but I am trying to say, boom, I can do this. If they go flat, they go flat. If I knock them out, I knock them out. But it's I don't interesting, interesting thing, because bridge, we traditionally think of it as being this. Yeah. 
the bridge can also be. Bridge is this. Bridge is this. So if I'm here, you're in this coast. Boom, boom, boom. And okay. Yes. So there's that. But that's a push away. And I don't like pushing away. What it should be, just coming up from here, boom, into the yes. solar plexus. So that I get a hit. And look at this. I don't want them to run away because I want to bring them back. <laughs> Okay, keep them. Them. <laughs> <laughs> most, most yeah. Every time they move away, I've got to chase them. So, and I don't want to chase so them. Your, so your, your, your initial thought is, whenever you, whatever, whenever you, whenever you're getting into a contact, whatever you're doing is damage. Damage all the way until there's a final goal. As I said before, it may be me that loses. It may be them that loses. Someone's got to lose. But if I'm going to fight and I'm fighting because I've got no choice, then I'm going to go hell on earth. To find the answer. So you like all these little things? I know, no, these are important because yeah. it, you know we talk about in fighting, but I can't get a punch off it. But if I get here, boom, I can get my punch off. Yes. And this is what you know when we close this, this is this. Boom. It is. Boom. Yes. This, this is it. And so all these little things are important because they create my space. I mean, I'm a lover. I can come in here, my lover. See what happens with the body. Yeah, the body goes. I'm not trying to get you down. I'm trying to get you out of my way to condition the distance so I can bang it in.